All right, this video is gonna show you how to create a new HTML follow-up message for a autoresponder list that you create. So just simply click there, plain text, paste in HTML. If you really wanted to customize it, you can get it done ahead of time. Um, Aweber gives you some default ways of doing stuff. So we're just gonna, let's just for fun, select one of these templates. Let's, I don't know, keep my content, start over. Let's see what happens when I do that. All right, that's kind of cool. So the great thing is you can come in and edit pretty much everything, you know. And then if you, <clears throat> if you know, <clears throat> sorry. So you can give it an image URL, the image link where you want to use some alternate text. You can size it left to right. Um, down here, probably the same thing. There's an image we can add. Uh, we can edit this whole thing. You notice it's been personalized, headline, okay. So that's one of the templates, and let's look at another template. You know, any of these templates are a good starting off point for you. But let's just actually use a, a plain template and go with starting over. So there it's been loaded up, and it's nothing real fancy. Let's put a headline in there. How can we get that? That's, I would like that actually to be up here. But let's let's nuke this. And let's have a headline here. So headline. Okay. So if I, I've got the headline, I can put a paragraph. Notice it's kind of nice. I can drag it around pretty much where I want it to go. And they just gave me some default. Let's just leave it as is for now. Um, not sure exactly what an article is, but can't be anything much different. Okay, it pretty much has a <clears throat> title, an image, and then some content with a link to read more. So if I just click on that, what the heck is gonna happen? Let's see, okay, that's editable. And we can click on that to edit. It gives you a chance to say where the image is, where you want it to go. Um, some of the other options, that was an image right there. I think that's an image. Yeah, we're not gonna add any images. There's a button. If you want to have a button, and what does it say I can do? I can give it a URL, so if someone clicks on that, um, then they would go to a certain location. I'll nuke that. Product, if you want that there's something you want to sell, there's kind of a basic way to do it. Again, you can have an image in here. Basically a product image, a title, description, you know, for here, you should be able to, there it goes. I can just say the price is one, whatever dollars that is. And the buy now, if I click on that, I am able to give it a URL. And if I wanted to change uh, that image, I could. Okay, what else is there? Let's actually just get rid of that for now. And let's get rid of that, leave just that. Coupons, what do we got for coupons? So these are all things that, um, oh, that's kind of cool. We can change the border, dotted, dash, solid, whatever. We could probably change this. And looks like there might be a font, the ability to change the font. If I could figure that out. Oh, that's for the border, sorry. It doesn't look like I can change the font color. Okay. And it looks like I could add a logo if I had one. And then my signature, which I think I've already set up. Yeah, it's Dave. So let me just save that. Okay, and we can test it out by sending it to my email and seeing how it looks. So I'm gonna send it off and then I'll go check to see what it looks like. Where it says first name, that should be replaced with um, my name. And then that's pretty much what it should look like. So I'm gonna go check right now. Okay, this is what it looks like. Um, pretty much what I expected, there's my Headline, the paragraph, it's personalized it, as I would hope. And then I've got this coupon here. Um, so that's how you use the uh, Aweber HTML editor to set up 
follow-up messages.